is up you guys in this video i'm going to show you how to translate your lightroom presets into instagram filters so you can add them to your instagram stories and it's a pretty simple process i know i haven't done a video in english in a while but they're coming so all you need is your lightroom preset base file that i'll link down below and a r spark by facebook it's a free program so don't worry you can download it as well i'll link it down below and it's a pretty simple process so let's get into it Okay guys, once you open up your base file on Lightroom, you can apply any preset or do any color grading that you want manually. In this case, I'm just going to add a simple preset. It's going to be this blue retro. And as you can see, all the grain has been loaded up and we don't want that. Otherwise, it's just going to be static grain on the video. So we're going to go down to grain and set the amount to zero. And once you've done that, you can add any further tweaks that you want. In this case, I'm just going to pull down a bit the exposure and maybe kill a bit of the greens like that. Once you've finished, you can right click, export, and once that is done, you can open up Spark AR Studio and create a new blank project. Okay guys, once you open up AR Studio, you've got a blank project and we're going to import our files. And in this case, we're going to import our filter. It's going to be this one. And we're going to import from our computer as well the fast color lot ARP. Once you've done that, we can start. So in this case, we're going to need the patch editor. So we're going to go up to view and select or unhide the patch editor itself. And now it's appeared. So first things first, we want to smooth a bit the face of the subject. So in this case, we're going to go to focal distance, right click, add and add a face mesh. As you can see, the face mesh has been added here and it opens up the panel to edit it over here. Okay, so now we're gonna add a material and for that we're gonna click the plus sign and as you can see, a material has been created in our assets and we're gonna name it retouching. Once we've done that, the panel has opened for the material and we're gonna hit the shader type and put retouching on it. And with this slider, we can adjust how much smoothness the face has. So I, I recommend around 15 to 20%, so it's not something unrealistic. And then we've done that. Next up, focal distance again, right click, add, and we're gonna add a canvas. Okay, now in canvas, we're gonna click, right click again, and add a rectangle this time. As you can see, a little rectangle has appeared in front of our subject. And we want it to occupy the full length of the screen, so we're gonna go to size, left click, fill width, as well as a height, and now it occupies the whole screen. Next, we're going to add a material again, go down to materials, hit the plus sign, and we've created another material over here. We're going to name it color grading. Okay, color grading, the shader type is going to be flat. And in texture, it has a little arrow and we're going to click it. And once we've clicked it, it turns yellow and that means it has been patched. Okay, so now, it's now it appears right here. Next step, go to camera, click on camera and it opens up its panel and texture extraction, we're going to hit the plus sign and it appears over here. We're going to drag it into the patch editor. As well, we're going to drag our base color or our filter and we're going to drag as well the fast color lot. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to bind all these together the RGBA channel of the base color, we're going to bind it to the input of the LUT. The export of the camera texture, we're going to bind it to the texture and the color to the color grading. And as you can see now, our subject has been color graded with the filter we did in Lightroom. So let's say we finished with the color grading. Now we want to add a grid or some dust effects to our filter. So in this case, I'm just going to add a grid, go to assets and I'm going to import a PNG file of uh, rule of thirds grid. As you can see, it now appears here. We're going to go to canvas and we're going to add another rectangle. Okay. So in this rectangle as well, we wanted to fill the width and the height of our image and in materials, we're going to select plus and create a new material. And this material is going to be re renamed grid. And in grid, we're going to set the shader type to flat again. And in texture, we're going to choose the texture from the grid that we just imported, the PNG file. As you can see, it's now imported. Now we have to scale it. So for that, we're going to select the rectangle and we're going to select and adjust the positions 
accordingly with the scale. As you can see, it appears over here, and now it's done. So once done that, now we have a little grid. In this case, I'm just happy with this, and I'm gonna proceed to upload it. Go to upload, and upload. Once it's done, it's gonna open up Facebook, and you have to sign in. Remember that Spark AR Studio belongs to Facebook. Once you've done that, it opens up Spark AR Hub, and in here you can follow all the steps to upload your filter to Facebook or Instagram. So you're gonna require a name, a category, a sample video, and an image for the thumbnail. And then you can submit it, and it's gonna appear in your Instagram or Facebook likewise. So guys, that's it. Remember to check out my Instagram filters. I just uploaded three. So check them out, tell me what you think, and tag me in any filter that you make. So that's it for this tutorial guys, I hope you liked it, if you did can you please give it a like, it really makes a difference and consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload another video, I'm Tony Fuentes, I hope you're doing well, staying home, being safe with your family, cheers to all of you guys, see you in the next one.